going to do something really different with the CNC machine. I'm going to make a lithothane. Now a lithothane is a three-dimensional photograph then that is uh, cut on a CNC machine. Um, today we're going to, I think everybody in the world rec recognises Hogwarts out of the Harry Potter films. Um, this is a very good example because it is uh, a black and white, a very good high resolution black and white photograph. And um, we're going to turn the grey greys into a grey scale and convert that into Z heights or Z heights for the CNC machine to cut. And um, it's a pretty spectacular and magical transformation. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, those of you uh, may be interested, um, this machine was just uh, carrying out a roughing cut. Uh, this is uh, six millimeter material. Uh, to make the lithothane, um, we need to machine sufficient material out. So, left on the back is one and a half millimeters. And what the program does uh, is convert the gray scales to Z scales or Z scales um, over one millimeter. So the thinnest part of the material, the light shows through whiter or lighter, and the thicker material um, shows through uh, at a darker level. So hence you get a black and white representation uh, in 3D. So what we've done there, we've uh, just machined out uh, four and a half millimeters um, and for those of you who may be interested the machine was running uh, the spindle speed was 18,000 rpm um, and the travel speed I actually speeded it up uh, cutting feed speed rather uh, to 80 millimeters um, a second which translates to three inches and one eighth uh, of an inch in Imperial so um, now we're going to put a 8 millimeter or 3 mil ball nose in and uh, do the, uh, the first cut of the three-dimensional photograph. And then we're going to um, put in a 1.5 millimeter ball nose and then do the finishing cut with that. But I'm going to, instead of going in the x-axis with the 1.5 millimeter, I'm actually going to turn it nine, uh, 45 degrees and traverse across this way. 
uh, I find you get a, um, a much better representation and the, the lines actually don't show through. I don't know whether it's a, a trick with your eye, but it seems to um, be a, a lot more clearer, a lot more crisper. So that's what we're doing. Just begin to see the uh, actual photograph part of it, or lithothane part of it coming through. Now here's the spire of Hogwarts Castle. Uh, it really doesn't look an awful lot like this, but uh, obviously when you uh, light it from the back, it uh, transforms magically into a coloured photo, uh, black and white photograph. is trimmed off now and um, looking from this side well you can make it yeah okay it's um, the castle but it's when you backlight it it actually comes to life I think the camera's picking that up all right 